Are there things that happen in your life and you think, wow, I am so lucky. What are the chances? Holy moly, was that a coincidence? Well, I'm here to tell you it has nothing to do with luck. As I often say, luck is not a strategy. Our universe moves in mathematical precision. And when you really understand that, you understand that you are literally creating your own luck. I'm going to tell you a story of how this showed up for me. And then you're going to see how everything can get better and better and better. And it's only up, up and up. Welcome to Possibilities with me, Hina Khan. I help you create a life you love, and we do it through ease, joy, and fun. I am not here for the hard, the grind, or the struggle. All right, picture this. I'm backstage at a Canadian television talk show because I'm going to go on as a guest. So I'm backstage, the show is called City Line, and I'm sitting with the other guests. And we're sitting there and we're chatting. And then one of the guests, her name is Amanda. She says, oh, and my husband is a pilot for Air Canada. Well, I perk up at that because my youngest is obsessed with planes. So I say, oh, your husband's a pilot. My youngest is obsessed with planes and loves Air Canada. He wants to become a pilot. And she's like, really? And I said, yeah, we actually happen to be going to Florida tomorrow and we're flying on Air Canada. And I was like, I'm surprised it's one of the big planes because it's such a short flight. And she said, yeah, you know, my husband's been doing that route recently. And I said, oh my gosh, that is so funny. So then we just start chatting some more, just some small talk. And then I ask her, I say, by the way, what is your husband's name? Because when we're at the airport tomorrow, very early, I would love to drop his name, like just like, oh, is, you know, so-and-so flying today as if I know everybody. And she said, his name is Dean. And I said, okay, perfect. When I go up to the gate, I'm going to ask if Dean is flying the plane. And then I'm just going to ask everybody about Dean. And, And we were laughing about it. And then she's like, you know, let me just see. I think he is flying out tomorrow. Let me see where he's flying. And so then she's like texting with him and she's like, oh, Dean's flying your plane. Think about it. Think about it. All of the things that would have had to have happened for us to be placed in the same place at that time, the day before we were going away. Now, here's what I want you to know. That episode that I shot on City Line got rescheduled many times. That was not the original date that I was supposed to be there. The other thing is that even that flight to Fort Lauderdale, we were supposed to fly to Miami. And I was actually thinking of changing the flight because it was a super, super early flight. But I had decided to keep it. There were so many things that would have had to have happened to put us there at that moment. And I would soon come to find out that even Amanda had been rescheduled. She was not supposed to be there. And then for her to say that, and then her husband is flying the plane. And so we definitely will look at things like that and chalk it up to a coincidence or luck. It is not that. That was a created moment. And when you start to see this, you start to see how powerful you are. So let me just tell you about what happened the next day. So no, no, not, not even the next day. I go home and I'm telling the children, Dean is flying the plane. And they are like, who is Dean? And I'm like, look, he's our new friend and he's flying the plane and we're going to say hello and you better be on your best behavior. So the next day we go very early. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So then I get a message from her later on saying, Dean is on it. He knows you and the boys are going to be on board. Um, He's got something planned for you. So this is all happening. So then the next day we get to the airport and we get to the plane and, you know, I mean, I'm dropping Dean's name left, right and center. So when we get there, I'm like, is Dean, is Dean in the cockpit? And they're like, what, who? Because they don't always know who the, um, who the captain and the pilot, the first pilots are. So first officer, I don't know. My youngest will correct me. So we, we go to the cockpit. There is Dean and the captain, who is Captain Tamara. She's amazing. 
So we're sitting there, the boys, they have the boys, you know, showing the boys things. It was amazing. And then um, later on throughout the flight, Dean comes back. And so, you know, the boys feel really special because, you know, the first officer is coming back to say hello. And then he, when we were leaving, he came and got us and said, you know, you didn't have that much time in the cockpit, so come back. So then we went back. And then here's the cool thing. Dean is showing Imran, my youngest, like how to plug in the coordinates for Montreal because they were going to Montreal. Hopefully Dean double checked it, I'm sure. And I'm sure they made it to Montreal. But and then he also took some video for them as well afterwards. Honestly, we could have just turned around and gone back home with them, maybe did a pit stop to Montreal. That, that was already the best vacation. That was already the best trip. And I'm going to take it a step further. So my youngest, who loves planes, always wants to be by the window. The seats that we had were not by the window. So we come back from the cockpit before we're taking off. We come back. We come to take our seats. There's a man standing, and he looks at Imran. He goes, are you in the aisle seat? And Imran says, yes. He goes, "Do you? would you like the window? And Imran said, yes, I would love the window. So even that, like it just happened with ease. And this is the way life starts showing up for you when you accept it as normal. And not only when you accept it, I would say when you expect it as well. You expect that everything is always going to work out for you. You expect that, you know, things are always going well for you and that everything is for your growth. And when you get this, then you also don't see things that you would see as, mm, how do I say this, like an issue or a problem as an issue or a problem. So for example, if a flight gets delayed, if a flight gets canceled, I don't know, for me, I guess living from this place, I don't see it as a bad thing. It doesn't determine my experience because I'm always creating, because I'm a creator. And this is the difference. Also, you start to live in the created world and not the reported world. And that's when things become fun. It also becomes fun in who you meet. Like, it's just delightful. Like, you don't know who you're going to sit beside. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I tell you one more thing that happened? So then the person that's sitting beside Imran, now he's in the aisle, I'm on an aisle, so I can see what he's reading. And he's reading The Alchemist. Now, it's a different cover from when I read the book, The Alchemist. So that's fine. I just notice it. He's reading The Alchemist. Then we're on the beach in Fort Lauderdale at our hotel. We're on the beach. I'm walking to get the boys out of the ocean. Don't make me tell you about the banana boat. <sighs> they got me on a banana boat. I will never. That was 15 minutes of pure hell that I will never get back. Anyways, thank God, Nick, you were not there. Thank Because if you were recording that, that would have gone viral for all the wrong reasons. Anyways, I digress. I am walking to the ocean to get the boys. And I notice on a beach chair, there's nobody there. But that book, The Alchemist, is on the beach chair. And it's the exact same cover. So when I notice these things, I'm not like, oh, that's such a coincidence. I'm like, OK, I hear you. I haven't read that book for a while. I'll pick it up again. Or there's something there. Maybe I don't need to read the whole book, but maybe there's something there for me. And that's how we're co-creating. The universe is like, here you go, and dropping hints. So when you start to look for these things and start to accept that you're co-creating, you're going to see these things everywhere. And just don't chalk it up to luck. Don't dismiss it. That's what I I'm asking you to do. And I wish I knew this in my 20s. It would have made a lot of difference. So start to see the things that you may be tempted to think of as luck or coincidence as normal. And start to notice that whatever you need is always there when you need it and that you expect it to be. And it's placed there effortlessly, just like Amanda was backstage of City Line. I mean, how amazing is that? And then you start to see that everything is always working out for you and it gets better and better and better. 
And maybe one of these days I will do an episode on the banana boat. I'm not sure, but maybe I will. In the meantime, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, download, and even send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to hear from you. 